Welcome to the start of the Family Print Project vlog. We have some finished penguins. Last set, we actually have a little bit of extra for our own pocket piece because we actually do need some. And officially, finally, I don't know what it was, but I, oh, actually I do know what it was. I don't know why I said I don't know what it was. I know what the problem was when we did this. We had did the cool plate super tack on the bamboo slicer when it's actually supposed to just be the cool plate, um, which caused that error with putting on the super tack, which is... It's normal, but I don't think it should have done it this fast. And that was the main error that causes because now we have all of these on there with no problem. So in doing so, while I did do the brim the first time, just to make sure I shouldn't have to do it for this next batch. That's I'm pretty confident with. All right, we have, what? We have spaghetti. Ow. I'm gonna go ahead and fix that up right now. But uh, we also have brand new book page holders. Really excited for this one. I'm actually saving it on the build plate. Amanda's got to do a quick short on this for TikTok because we're doing a big push on products and adding them to the TikTok shop and doing a bunch of our ads over there and doing a lot of videos over the next couple of days. So we got that. We have another set of penguins. Really excited for those. Adding them to our pocket peep collection because we do need a little bit more. Those is stock. So we have our first set. Now we're probably going to switch over to earrings, get some earrings done. And same thing for those. The earrings are going to be promoted on TikTok and getting some ads out for that. And what I mean by ads is us marketing them via video and telling them where they can find it, which is available in the TikTok shop and doing that on a regular basis and seeing what happens. Because we don't have any markets set up, we're actually going to use this time to really push our online presence and get that done and let you guys know how that's going. As of right now, the only online presence we have is this YouTube channel. We definitely need to do it on the business side of things to have people purchasing things so we can document it on the channel and show you guys the results as we go. And then also finding that right product that we can consistently do that's either a functional piece, a product piece that we can start regularly doing because we're also going to do a hype thing like, hey, we got new products that are on the printer. They're all being made right now. If you guys want to pick some up, go check them out in the tick shop shop tiktok shop or we'll check them out on ebay there's some there that's kind of how we're going to do it and we're going to try to really pick the pace up on that all right we got two bookmarks being tested right now we got a fun little one that i created for the boy spider-man inspired as you can see i created one inspired by our cat lilith that one's probably going to be on patreon but that one's on the way we have another set of santa claus because we're about 18 short Another set on the way, and then going to cross-reference here in about 30 minutes to an hour to see which one survived with bed adhesion, because some of these aren't sticking on some of the spots. Like that one might be a problem. I know some of these were a problem earlier, so just taking a close look and making sure we are up and running as best as we can. Also, on this version, I am going to be incorporating a thin version now on the four color option only at the four color option due to time restrictions on what i can do to create stuff but we got a lot of stuff that we're hunkering down on and actually creating this week for bookmarks and uh yeah it's been taking a lot of time today on, on getting those done but this one should be released this week and we'll keep y'all up to date with everything and these are also going to be marketed very differently here on youtube it's going to be marketed as hey go check it out on patreon we will have a free one this week. We will have this one up there. I have to figure out which one I want to be the free one and which one uh, I'm going to be as the Patreons. Still, as the process continues to unfold. Yeah, we have a lot of a lot of work to do today. There's gonna be a video marketed towards Patreon members here on YouTube, and then we're gonna do a version on TikTok as available in the TikTok shop specifically for these bookmarks. Let's let these guys do their thing. And that'll be done in about 30 minutes. Spider-Man will be done in about two hours. Yeah, about two hours. And if you guys were wondering if this is going to be on Patreon, it is actually not. Well, we got them going. We got some things going. I actually need to do one on the 85X as well. I just don't know what I want to do on that one just quite yet. So we'll figure that out, though. Looks like we got an update on the 85X. It's completed its update so we're gonna go ahead and restart the printer right now all right we got a little bit of a clog nozzle so let's go ahead and do that 
All right, so let's go ahead and get this guy off. Looks like we found our culprit. Let's go ahead and get that taken care of and then get back to printing. All right, so that didn't work, but look what I found here. Looks like the cutting tool needed some replacement. It's been a minute. I actually haven't literally had to change out a cutter since I've gotten each printer, so this is the first time I've actually had to do this. That's pretty cool. I mean, y'all know how long this year's been going. That's how well maintenance on these printers can do for you if you keep up with them and make sure that they're running tip-top shape and you're not switching out filaments all the time. We're actually gonna take a look at Kale and see if the cutter was an issue too because so far, the cutter fixed the problem. And this is, bam, the Majin Buu was an older one, but then again, I remember switching them. I don't know. We're gonna try to see if the cutter uh, will fix this problem as well and see if we can get this back up and running. Then we'll know if it's a, a bigger issue or not. All right, so I have completely deconstructed this entire extruder. Um, if there is something wrong, it is not the AMS hub, it is not the extruder, it's not a filament jam. Um, it has to probably do something with the gears on one of these because at this point, like I said, I fully disconstructed, there was nothing there. Took out the tension on this piece here and now it's time to fully assemble back together and get a test print going and see what's going on. All printers have a new firmware update, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. This one's already almost done. We're doing Kale. We're gonna do some tests on it again, see if there's something that I see or do that may make a difference on what's happening. So we'll, uh, after everything that I've done to this printer, I think I know what could be the problem since it is printing the white just fine. I did try to do a test print with the red. It's gotta be something with the motor on the AMS unit here that's causing problems because spit everything out, it's working fine but the red and the black are having issues, I believe. So I will do, try to do another print, see what happens. And if this, the, if it doesn't actually end up printing, then that is definitely the problem. The motors are, uh, are donezo or something needs to be cleaned out of there. I broke it down, looked at everything. Everything is literally just fine. I might actually do that for this one too and see what's up and find out if we can get this back up and rolling as well. We are doing a test print on Majin Buu. Uh, we do have the setting set to where it is a cool plate. Just double checking, make sure that wasn't the error. I've got white, black, and red being the colors that we're doing for one of our bookmarks right now as a tester. It's one of our thin bookmarks that we're testing on this printer. But it is cool plate. We got it on here. We've got an hour and a half. If it ends up stopping, we definitely know the next process and the next potential problem. Seems like we can do single colors on kale as of right now, so far, which is a very good sign as well. Because that means we have another printer up and running. And as you can see, the problem that we are facing is spacing. Definitely, definitely got to do some better math on spacing. This is going to have to be moved somewhere else to be utilized because I got to use a full AMS unit here. So we'll figure it out in due time on how we're going to accommodate that. But this is the main reason why an AD5X is probably gonna go right next to this one for exactly the reason of space saving, which is gonna be perfect for what we got here. All right, so something we're trying is the AI scanner on Maker World to see how that takes. In three hours, what I did was a top view, side view, and low view of a product we need to do and be able to replicate and see. Really wanna test this feature because it definitely will help me out in the long term, especially with working full time right now. This is how I'd love to use AI, is the capabilities of this, to being able to manually do something where I physically have to make some changes on a product, meaning like film it, video it, and then kind of bring it into this process to see what happens, and we'll go from there. The model didn't work, it was originally intended I had to make some adjustments and do something different and use a different software to make what we needed to get done. And now we have an exact replica of exactly the ornament this customer's requesting. Now with this one, it will require additional work because we gotta spray some adhesive on there and get some gold glitter if that's exactly what they want. So that's gonna be some addition work there, but we're gonna enjoy the rest of the night. It's Amanda's birthday today. If you guys don't mind, leave a comment down below saying happy birthday, Amanda. Also, 
for an entire year. For an entire freaking year. I thought I had Linktree in the description box of every single one of these videos. And that turns out to be false. But I've gone ahead and updated the Linktree so you can now easily access all of our other channels. Our Instagram pages, our personal, our, our personal pages, our other YouTube pages, and all the content that we have coming out and in the works and plans to expand into with all of them having specific purposes so keep on the lookout for that and we also just released the Ortor r2 video one of the videos we never got to complete that we finally got completed and even then it still wasn't the best result we were wanting and then we have one more product video that we have to do as its own thing that we'll also be trying to get out as soon as possible but there's a link in the description box below if you guys are looking for a laser engraver on that video and also holidays are coming i hope you guys are having a great time with your family and friends and anything that you guys are doing because we definitely are enjoying our time with our family and friends and looking forward to the time we spend with them that's what we have in the community here we you know we hope you guys have a happy thanksgiving we really appreciate y'all taking the time to watch every single one of our videos it means a lot to us and things are coming things are on the way let's get things done all right so i recently just got back from dropping off that order for the pocket peeps the 300 piece order which i'm really happy and really excited for that but right now i'm going to go ahead and end this vlog i do have to do some bookmarks that have to go on patreon so i got to take some time to do that we have to go ahead and finish out this video so if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure you like subscribe and go check out the links in the description box below for the link tree because all of the channels are there we're literally getting prepped up for some great content across different platforms and also great content in different niches so if you guys are ever bored or ever want anything and you want specific content from specifically us we have plenty of content and capabilities of what we're going to be doing getting into books getting into gaming content getting into reaction content the kids getting into content we have absolutely everything possible we have the stones on the ground now it's time to actually start stepping on them and start getting them accomplished so we can start building our road out and getting everything going for content creation even though we're small content creators, we still have a lot in, you know, content creation is my passion. So be on the lookout for that. It's very much appreciated, and we'll catch y'all in next week's video.